Alright, this is a 4L80 valve body. <clears throat> I'm getting ready to uh, install the Transgo part number 48-ACT-TL. That's the uh, actuator limit valve repair kit. Comes in a box. Comes in a box. It looks like this. Comes with a reamer. Comes with the reamer, the guide bushing, and springs and new oversized valves. There's enough in here to do six transmissions. You can get refills for the valves. So if you rebuild transmissions frequently, you can, the reamer is reusable, but you can get new valves and everything if you use up all six in the springs. But <clears throat> comes with a single paper here. And this here's the actual instructions and then there on the other side it's just uh, helping you ID your valve body there's two designs I actually this is out of an 07 which it would be 04 and up 4L80 but uh, this is actually the this is like the second design or the updated design one it's got this clip the spring and that's what the factory valve looks like. But <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and ream this valve body out and install the kit. Take this out here. What you wanna do is it, they give you the reamer and then a, like a guide bushing. Well, you wanna, you wanna take all your old stuff out, obviously. And you're going to insert the guide bushing itself into the valve body until it bottoms out. Okay, and then you're going to put a pair of vice grips on the bushing itself just to keep it from, from turning. Now, I've already bottomed it out and got my vice grips on there. Then, you're going to coat it with oil really good or transmission fluid. I just happen to have some 3-in-1 oil here. I already coated the bit and the reamer real good, so I'm just gonna coat it again. Alright, and you're gonna go real slow. So I'm gonna turn this back to one. And we are gonna be the bow the reamer's gonna come through this channel right here. So if you wanna watch it here. I'm just going to go real slow. Kind of let the uh, reamer do the work. You don't want to be going wide open pushing on it. Okay, and we're all the way through. I think there's like three passages it has to go through. You can feel it as you're drilling. You'll feel it go go through and into the next one. But <clears throat> you can see right here, that's the last passage. And then you're hitting this wall here in the valve body. So, and then I'm just going to give it a little bit of speed and then pull it back out and then you're gonna pull the whole thing out here your guide bushing which looks like this I'm gonna take my vice grips off of it we're gonna take it out of the drill And you end up with right here's <clears throat> you end up with this this is what you, what everything looks like you got the reamer itself here 
no, nothing spectacular, just a reamer. And you got the, the guide bushing here, or the drill bushing. This is just so you keep the reamer straight in the bore. But really not much to it. I know I couldn't find much, much on it myself, so I'm going to make this video, maybe help somebody else out. It's not hard at all. So, but once you drill it all out like I did, now you got to blow the chips out. Because there's, uh, obviously you got metal shavings down in there from you running the reamer through it. And after you run the reamer through it, you just follow the instructions. Right here. Now this is my style here with the clip. So, clip type. I'm going to use the orange and the plain spring out of the kit. So, that is... Make some room here. I'm going to use one orange. That's the orange. And one plain. They look like that. There's um, there's white springs in here. There's white, orange, and then just plain springs. And then you, well, you actually have smaller springs too. But you'll have to read the instructions. <clears throat> and then they give you the oversized valve, which is right here. And if you compare the factory valve to your new oversized one, I mean, you can see the difference here. So, hopefully this will cure the uh, problem the guy was having with his. And I got this video out there to help everybody out because I know I couldn't find nothing when I was looking up before I bought the kit. <clears throat> I was just curious, looking up, and I had a hard time finding something. So, hopefully this video will help somebody out. If you were like me and <clears throat> wondering, you know, what it was and what there was to doing it. I mean, that's that's it. It's literally a five-minute job. But that's pretty much it. I'm going to be doing a uh, HD2 kit in this valve body. I'm re I rebuilt the whole trans, but I figured I would do the run the reamer through there and get that done. That way I can clean the valve body all out and then install the HD2 kit. But I hope this uh, helps you out. 